Demeter In ancient Greek religion and mythology, Demeter, Attic, Demeter, Doric, Demeter, is the goddess of the grain, agriculture, harvest, growth, and nourishment, who presided over grains and the fertility of the earth. Her cult titles include Ceto, she of the grain, as the giver of food or grain, and Thesmophoros, Thesmus, divine order, unwritten law, Phoros, bringer, bearer, lawbringer, as a mark of the civilized existence of agricultural society. Though Demeter is often described simply as the goddess of the harvest, she presided also over the sacred law, and the cycle of life and death. She and her daughter Persephone were the central figures of the Eleusinian mysteries that predated the Olympian pantheon. In the Linear B Mycenaean Greek tablets of circa 1400 to 1200 BC found at Pylos, the two queens and the king may be related with Demeter, Persephone, and Poseidon. Her Roman equivalent is Ceres. It is possible that Demeter appears in Linear A as Demate on three documents, RZF1 and 2, and KYZ2, all three apparently dedicated in religious situations and all three bearing just the name, I Demate on RZF1 and 2. It is unlikely that Demeter appears as Demate in a Linear B, Mycenaean Greek, inscription Pi N609, the word, Demate, probably refers to households. On the other hand, Sita Potinija, Potnia of the Grain, is regarded as referring to her Bronze Age predecessor or to one of her epithets. Demeter's character as mother goddess is identified in the second element of her name Meter, derived from Proto-Indo-European Me to Ter, mother. In antiquity, different explanations were already proffered for the first element of her name. It is possible that Da, a word which corresponds to GE, in Attic, is the Doric form of Da, Earth, the old name of the Thonic Earth goddess, and that Demeter is Mother Earth. This root also appears in the linear B inscription in Isi da Oni, Earth Shaker, as an aspect of the god Poseidon. Da, however, the da element in the name of Demeter is not so simply equated with Earth according to John Chadwick. The element da may be connected with Dio, an epithet of Demeter probably derived from the Cretan word Dea, Ionic Zaya, variously identified with Emmer, Spelt, Rye, or other grains by modern scholars, so that she is the mother and the giver of food generally. Wanax, Wanaka was her male companion, Greek, Pyro Epsilon Delta Rho Omicron Sigma, Paradros, in Mycenaean cult. The Arcadian cult links her to the god Poseidon, who probably substituted the male companion of the great goddess, Demeter may therefore be related to a Minoan great goddess, Sibel. An alternative Proto-Indo-European etymology comes through Potnia and Despoina, where Day represents a derivative of Pi Dem, house, dome, and Demeter is mother of the house from Pydem's May to Tear. According to the Athenian rhetorician Isocrates, Demeter's greatest gifts to humankind were agriculture, particularly of cereals, and the mysteries which giveth initiate higher hopes in this life and the afterlife. These two gifts were intimately connected in Demeter's myths and mystery cults. In Hesiod, prayers to Zeus Kthenios, Thonic Zeus, and Demeter help the crops grow full and strong. Demeter's emblem is the poppy, a bright red flower that grows among the barley. In Hesiod's Theogony, Demeter is the daughter of Cronus and Rhea. At the marriage of Cadmus and Harmonia, Demeter lured Iasian away from the other revelers. They had intercourse in a ploughed furrow in Crete, and she gave birth to two sons, Philomelus and Plutus. Her daughter by Zeus was Persephone, queen of the underworld. Demeter's two major festivals were sacred mysteries. Her Thesmophoria festival, 11 to 13 October was women only. Her Eleusinian mysteries were open to initiates of any gender or social class. At the heart of both festivals were myths concerning Demeter as mother and Persephone as her daughter. Demeter's virgin daughter Persephone was abducted to the underworld by Hades. Demeter searched for her ceaselessly, preoccupied with her loss and her grief. The seasons halted, living things ceased their growth, then began to die. Faced with the extinction of all life on earth, Zeus sent his messenger Hermes to the underworld to bring Persephone back. Hades agreed to release her if she had eaten nothing while in his realm, but Persephone had eaten a small number of pomegranate seeds. This bound her to Hades and the underworld for certain months of every year, either the dry Mediterranean summer, when plant life is threatened by drought, or the autumn and winter. There are several variations on the basic myth. In the Homeric hymn to Demeter, Hecate assists in the search and later becomes Persephone's underworld attendant. In another, Persephone willingly and secretly eats the pomegranate seeds, thinking to deceive Hades, but is discovered and made to stay. Contrary to popular perception, 
Persephone's time in the underworld does not correspond with the unfruitful seasons of the ancient Greek calendar, nor her return to the upper world with springtime. Demeter's descent to retrieve Persephone from the underworld is connected to the Eleusinian mysteries. Demeter and her daughter Persephone were usually called in Mycenaean Pylos, Demeter and Persephone were probably called queens, Wanasoi. The myth of the capture of Persephone seems to be pre-Greek. In the Greek version, Plutus, Pylam de Omicron Tau Omicron Sigma, wealth, represents the wealth of the corn that was stored in underground silos or ceramic jars, Pythoi. Similar subterranean pithoi were used in ancient times for funerary practices. At the beginning of the autumn, when the corn of the old crop is laid on the fields, she ascends and is reunited with her mother Demeter, for at this time the old crop and the new meet each other. According to the personal mythology of Robert Graves, Persephone is not only the younger self of Demeter, she is in turn also one of three guises of the triple goddess, Kor, the youngest, the maiden, signifying green young grain, Persephone, in the middle. The nymph, signifying the ripe grain waiting to be harvested, and Hecate, the eldest of the three, the crone, the harvested grain, which to a certain extent reduces the name and role of Demeter to that of group name. Before her abduction, she is called Kor, and once taken she becomes Persephone, she who brings destruction. Demeter's search for her daughter Persephone took her to the palace of Celius, the king of Eleusis in Attica. She assumed the form of an old woman, and asked him for shelter. He took her in, to nurse Demophon and Triptolemus, his sons by Metanira. To reward his kindness, she planned to make Demophon immortal, she secretly anointed the boy with ambrosia and laid him in the flames of the hearth, to gradually burn away his mortal self. But Metanira walked in, saw her son in the fire and screamed in fright. Demeter abandoned the attempt. Instead, she taught Triptolemus the secrets of agriculture, and he in turn taught them to any who wished to learn them. Thus, humanity learned how to plant, Grow and harvest grain. The myth has several versions, some are linked to figures such as Eleusis, Raris, and Troculus. The Demophon element may be based on an earlier folk tale. Demeter and Poseidon's names appear in the earliest scratched notes in Linear B found at Mycenae and Mycenaean Pylos, Eni Cida Oni, Earth Shaker for Poseidon, and Cida Potinija, who is probably related with Demeter. Poseidon carries frequently the title Wanaka, Wanax. In Linear B inscriptions, as king of the underworld, and his title Enesida only indicates his thonic nature. In the cave of Amisos, Crete, Anasidon is related with the cult of Ilithia, the goddess of childbirth. She was related with the annual birth of the divine child. During the Bronze Age, a goddess of nature, dominated both in Minoan and Mycenaean cult, and Wanax, Wanaka, was her male companion. Paradros, in Mycenaean cult. She and her Paradros survived in the Eleusinian cult, where the following words were uttered Mighty Potnia bore a strong son, however, there is no evidence that originally the name of Potnia was Demeter. Tablets from Pylos record sacrificial goods destined for the two queens and Poseidon, to the two queens and the king, Wanasoi, Wanakate. The two queens may be related with Demeter and Persephone, or their precursors, goddesses who were not associated with Poseidon in later periods. An exception is the myth of isolated Arcadia in southern Greece. Despoina, is daughter of Demeter and Poseidon Hippios, horse Poseidon. These myths seem to be connected with the first Greek-speaking people who came from the north during the Bronze Age. Poseidon represents the river spirit of the underworld and he appears as a horse as it often happens in northern European folklore. He pursues the mare Demeter and she bears one daughter who obviously originally had the form or the shape of a mare too. Demeter and Despoina were closely connected with springs and animals, related to Poseidon as a god of waters and especially with Artemis, the mistress of the animals and the goddess of, among others, the hunt. Demeter as mare goddess was pursued by Poseidon, and hid from him among the horses of King Anchios, but could not conceal her divinity. In the form of a stallion, Poseidon caught and covered her. Demeter was furious, Arinus, at Poseidon's assault. In this furious form, she is known as Demeter Arinus. But she washed away her anger in the river Laden, becoming Demeter Lucia, the bathed Demeter. In her alliance with Poseidon, Carl Kerenny noted, she was Earth, who bears plants and beasts and could therefore assume the shape of an ear of grain or a mare. She bore a daughter Despoina, the mistress, whose name should not be uttered outside the Arcadian mysteries, and a horse named Arion, with a black mane and tail. In Arcadia, Demeter's mare form was worshipped into historical times. Herzo Anon of Figalia shows how the local cult interpreted her, a Medusa type with a horse's head with snaky hair, holding a dove and a dolphin, 
probably representing her power over air and water. Demeter's epithets show her many religious functions. She was the corn mother who blesses the harvesters. Some cults interpreted her as Mother Earth. Demeter may be linked to goddess cults of Minoan Crete, and embody aspects of a pre-Hellenic mother goddess. It is possible that the title Mistress of the Labyrinth, which appears in a Linear B inscription, belonged originally to Ceto, she, of the grain, the great mother Demeter and that in the Elias Nian mysteries this title was kept by her daughter Persephone, Cor Despoina. However, there is no evidence that the name of Potnia in Eleusis was originally Demeter. Her other epithets include Demeter might also be invoked in the guises of Theocritus, wrote of an earlier role of Demeter as a poppy goddess. In a clay statuette from Ghazi, Heraklion Museum, Kerini 1976 Fig 15, the Minoan poppy goddess wears the seed capsules, sources of nourishment and narcosis, in her diadem. It seems probable that the great mother goddess, who bore the names Rhea and Demeter, brought the poppy with her from her Cretan cult Eleusis, and it is certain that in the Cretan cult sphere, opium was prepared from poppies, Karen 1976, p. 24. Major cults to Demeter are known at Eleusis in Attica, Hermion, in Crete, Megara, Salii, Lerna, Ejela, Munyikea, Corinth, Delos, Priene, Acragas, Yassos, Pergamon, Salinas, Tegea, Thoracus, Dion, in Macedonia, Lycosera, Misembria, Enna, Sicily, and Samothrace. An ancient Amphictyony, probably the earliest centered on the cult of Demeter at Anphil, New Theta Lambda Eta, which lay on the coast of Malus south of Thessaly. This was the locality of Thermopylae. After the First Sacred War, the Anthelian body was known thenceforth as the Delphic Amphictyony. Demeter of Mysia had a seven day festival at Polini in Arcadia. Pausanias passed the shrine to Demeter at Mysia on the road from Mycenae to Argos, but Alhay could draw out to explain the archaic name was a myth of an eponymous Messias who venerated Demeter. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.